Hey guys, what's up? This is Shivani from eGadgets for you, and in this video, I have a very interesting take because I will add this 8GB 3200MHz RAM to my brand new ASUS Zephyrus G14 laptop. So with this particular thing, my ASUS Zephyrus G14 will be upgraded to a 16GB of RAM. And through this video, I will actually show you how you can also upgrade your RAM in your laptop. So without further ado, let's just get started and let's get to it at once. Now before I start the upgrade process, I think it's very important to let you know that yes, my uh, ASUS Zephyrus G14 is actually powered by a uh, AMD Ryzen 5 4600 HS processor. And by now you already know that the AMD Ryzen processor are actually the greatest bang for your box. So yes, but with AMD Ryzen processor the thing is that you have, they are heavily RAM dependent and mine has only 8 gigs of RAM. But before doing so, make sure that in your particular laptop, the RAM that you have currently, just take a note of each and everything on that particular thing. Like mine has a 8 gigs of 3200 MHz SOD IMM RAM and I have actually opted for the same. But again, I can actually go for a 16 gigs as uh, also a 32 gigs uh, SOD IMM 3200 MHz uh, RAM, DDO4 RAM actually. But uh, 16, uh, 8 gigs and the inbuilt 8 gigs, so total of 16 gigs and the dual memory channel uh, of my laptop with 16 gigs of RAM, 8 gigs uh, in two uh, of the channels available in this particular laptop will do wonders to the AMD Ryzen 5 and it will actually make my laptop future proof say four to five years down the line as well so after five years maybe i will upgrade the ram at that point of time to maybe uh, 32 uh, gigs or something like that anyways without further ado let's just get into it right now okay now guys before i start with the proceedings i want to make sure that uh, you just have a philip head screwdriver with you that will do the thing and of course like i've told you i have actually purchased this particular ram from amazon i'll put the buying link in the description as well it's from a data and it's a gdo 84 3400 pc port for 225 gigs of ram and of course it has a cl22 uh, and um, it's a sod imm notebook ram now what i'll do is that i'll bring my knife and very carefully open this particular packet over here okay uh, now putting aside the knife uh, i can actually do it with my own hand on, uh, right now and yes this is a ram packet that comes and as you can see that here yeah, this has uh, this particular packet opens like this and this is a ram but before we fiddle with the ram uh, let me open the laptop at first so let's get to it uh, and yes, now before starting the process, I have grounded myself. No static electricity is actually flowing around in my body. So right now, uh, okay, before starting, let me just uh, show you this particular thing. The ASUS Zephyrus G14 over here has 14 head screws over here that I have to open with my Philips head screwdriver. Uh, and mind you, this one at the bottom right, actually, this does not come off because you have to peel off from this. So it's a nice addition. I'll show you how. But these are the 14 uh, additions that I'll go ahead and open it myself right now and mind you keep this particular minute screws nicely in a separate place so you do so it does not get lost okay now the reason i want to actually show you because i have actually unscrewed and taken off the uh, rest of the 13 um Phillips head screws but this one particular this will not come out actually if you see that when you unscrew it properly and yes it's unscrewed it will not come off how hard you try the reason being it's actually a very good addition uh, let me just put aside the screw Phillips head screwdriver you see that when I'm unscrewing it this particular cover from the back starts coming out from here so it actually helps you to get this thing uh, cover actually pull off also so it's a nice addition actually so yes now i am unscrewing it properly so i'm going ahead and pulling off the cover of my so zephyrus g14 from here and yes the reveal time this is the interior of my so zephyrus g14 laptop over here and let me show you this is actually the hard drive uh, part over here which is actually shouldered in the motherboard area so because it's a uh, full capacity is 1TB NVMe M.2 SSD and it's uh, the full 1TB NVMe SSD has been actually installed over here this is a battery section and here you can find two color coolers one for the CPU and another one for the GPU 
Now this uh, over here is an empty RAM slot as you can see. I will insert my RAM over here. The other 8GB RAM is actually shouldered in the motherboard. So now it's time to bring ta -da, the eData RAM. Okay. Now actually let me zoom in very closely over here because yeah this is a RAM area and you need to see that what I'm doing over here. So at first I'm going ahead taking out the RAM very very carefully. Now the RAM is in my hand as you can see over here. Uh, yeah now you can see over here the RAM is in my hand it focuses nicely yes this is RAM. Now what I'll do is that I'll make sure that you see in the RAM let me focus again yeah you see that particular hinge over here it should match the hinge of the RAM slot available over here you see a hinge over here uh, just over here let me remove my hand and it will focus yes you can see the hinge now now I will just align the RAM to the hinge and it rests like this over here but now what you need to make sure just gently hear that sound you have successful installed the RAM that's a successful installation that you can hear with the sound itself nothing more to do over here I'll just uh, wipe off the dust over here and again put the cover and in the next screen you will show we will see actually that whether this particular RAM is depicted by my laptop or not so let's get to it okay guys this will be the moment of truth I have turned on the laptop and let's wait for it and see whether the additional 8 gigs of RAM making it a total of 16 gigs has been identified or not. Uh, before anything uh, else, let me just bump up the brightness of my laptop. Okay, it's been bumped up. Okay, now uh, opening my PC, right click, going to properties. And you see install memory 16 gigs. Wow! Just let me focus over here and here you can see that yes of the install memory 16 gigs 15.4 GB is usable so it's a successful installation yes guys I have done it so this is a process just follow it make sure simple steps like grounding yourself and turning up the laptop and hitting the right sockets right perfectly and you are good to go with that so guys that will be it click on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell and stay updated of all the tech happenings in my channel that will be it guys for this particular video bye for now